got a chiller for an MRI system here acting up and uh, I have never worked on this system or even anything like it <laughs> but um, it does feel like we have flow although it's way too hot there we go and I'm not even sure how much flow is normal, but we do have some. So I'm gonna go outside and see what's going on out there. Here's the chiller here, and in the way are these thorn bushes. If you haven't seen these bushes up close, they are nasty. So I'm gonna cut cut me a path through here. Nothing like a little HVAC landscaping, right? <laughs> That's more like it. Looks good if I say so myself. Here via these screws. <laughs> Open sesame. Oh, still getting poked. Okay. All right. All right, the pump's running. Needle's a little bit off from where somebody marked them, but uh, not terrible. Maybe it does need a little makeup water, but anyways, um, compressor is not running at all. So, need to find out why that is. Alright, I've got like a PID controller here, which I assume is for, yeah, water temp. Some lights here. This, this here is completely dead, so I don't know uh, if it's been like that or... That's part of the problem, but it looks like that's for the head pressure. Hmm. Here's a look under the skirt here. She's very, very fancy. <clears throat> it's like EV there or something. It's the main control cabinet. Wow, look at all that. <laughs> be honest, you know, it smells, smells like kind of burnt electronics. So I need to... I need to get in here and see if something, something let out the magic smoke. Now one thing I noticed right off the bat is we've got no status light there. Now, because this is also blank, it's starting to make me wonder if we're missing uh, like a transformer somewhere, low voltage, so let me get into it. Unfortunately, I got no schematic on this, which, you know, I can't say it's that uncommon in commercial, but I think a high-end unit like this, they'd put it on a panel somewhere, but, uh, checked out some stuff here, you know, like we got a transducer, and eh, I'm not seeing anything alarming, although on this, see that right in there, where it's burnt? The only thing that I'm not sure about, though, is well, we've got power coming up into this thing, but we don't have anything coming out. Like, I'm not sure that this phase monitor is doing much, really. Um, I don't know if it was disconnected or what the story is with that. Just not seeing a good explanation for that. All right, keep digging into it. Well, I found a problem, but I don't think it's the problem. If you look, you can see where there's like a gap there between the pads. That one's a uh, more solid connection. Anyways, uh, I did, uh, in the course of messing around in here, I did see the pump shut off because this relay lost connection just swapped them out to, to test them and uh, I think that relay is bad but I don't think that that's our main problem unfortunately I'm gonna have to cut this one short I got the helium compressor going by just feeding it city water over here and it's just draining into there um, but anyways we're gonna have to get to this tomorrow uh, they already have to cancel all of the appointments and uh, this will get them going through the night and keep the MRI basically sustainable. Uh, I got to run a VRF call in the morning. Somebody else is going to be out here to uh, finish this up. So, yeah, 
trying to get to cut short on this one. I got a pretty decent amount of flow here. I bumped it up just a tad because I noticed that water was getting a bit warm. Uh, it feels like it's pretty stable now, so it should be good to go.